99% of AI Prime Managers are lacking at least one of those top five skills as AI Prime Manager that make him lacking behind in terms of getting hired or getting promoted to lead strategic AI initiatives within their own companies. In this video, I'm going to break down the top five AI Prime Management skill set most Prime Managers are lacking. I'm also going to give you the specific strategy and step to gain those important skill set. Make sure to stay until the end of the video where I share with you the most common mistakes that AI product management make, but they always neglect. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy D, a Debra product featured in Forbes. I've helped thousands of people land a dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader in this channel. I talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe to our new video every Tuesday. In my last video, I dive deeper regarding what is AI product manager and AI product management explained was in four minutes. And lots of people come and ask me to do a deep dive regarding what the exact skill set that required to become an AI product manager. If you missed some video, you should take out right here. So now the number one skill set for AI product manager is being able to make technical decisions in terms of which model to use and model evaluation. Currently, there are so many large language models out there and some are paid, some are free, some are open source, and, but there's no one size fits all large language models in the market right now. And really depends on your applications and needs of customers and also constraints. And that is going to decide which model suit best for you. As AI product manager, if we just follow the trend using the most newest, use the best and newest models the market in today's market, you're going to lag in behind because you are not considering the full end-to-end -end pictures and business strategy within your company. For example, we just launched an AI chatbot product within Product Manager Accelerator, my own company. And this product, we are running using ChatGPT mini model instead of all the latest ChatGPT 4.0 and other models out there, we choose ChatGPT mini model. It was because it was lightweight and, and we just need to have a fast response, to create AI resume writer, as well as create a customized study pass and lots of existing contents already available within our own a training system in the past four years. And also consider the cost of balance and we decide directly to use ChatGPT mini model that's still able to give us the best outcome for our students. In contrast, for AI interviewer product we developed, we decided to use DeepSeek as well as Claude because those two models are optimized proprietary information. When we train our AI interviewer model, we train it based on a four years success stories and mock interviews and strategies for 1,500 product managers we have trained through our program who is currently working for all the tier one companies you can imagine as well as hot unicorn startups in Silicon Valley. So those kind of proprietary information actually is something so unique as a company advantage to our company. So therefore we use Claude and DeepSea to create this AI interviewer model. And by the way, currently the AI interviewer and also AI resume writer, AI chatbot is only available for students inside of Prime Manager Accelerator. If your people outside of program want to get access as early adopter and test out, you can comment AI below and also going to put the waitlist link in the description of this video so that you can become the early adopters and test out our AI resume writers and AI interview once available to general public. I'm going to put the link in the description. Make sure to check it out and comment AI below. The second important AI product management skills for all the product managers out there is getting up to date about the latest AI trends and experiment and test out all the latest AI tools and models out there. Literally, myself was overwhelmed about all possible different kind of AI news. My inbox is exploding. So much news going on. It's crazy. Um, and such as like a CEO of Cloud just said next year, 90% of the code can be written completely by AI. And which also the reason that today, entry of a software engineer is not able to land any job right now. So there's so much going on. So I was overwhelmed by those information and there's also new models coming and every single week there's new model coming out or new AI tools coming out. But 
As AIPM, we need to know what the best and greatest and test out all the best models and also filter out the mess of information. So I already provided the top two newsletter I highly recommend everyone to check it out. Number one is AJ Green's newsletter. He gave you the daily digest of latest, most important industry knowledge and trend you need to understand. The second one is more in-depth, a forward future uh, by Matt Friedman. So his forward future is very deep tech explanation testing of all those AI models and AI tools in the market right now. And I really respect his work. If you want to go in depth and check out his newsletter as well, I'm going to link those top two newsletters in the description of this video. On top of reading, you should also experiment with anything new. For example, AI agent is quite hot right now in 2025. A lot of people are building AI agent and actually it's not that hard to build. Lots of people also start to use AI agent right now. And for example, even inside the AI product management bootcamp, we have a team who developed the real life AI agent who can help you to automatically organize all your file just as if the movie her. It's crazy and you should start experiment any kind of new things coming out so that you know what the best existing technology and leverage instead of starting from scratch. Has anybody started to play with Sora by ChatGPT? And actually I start play with it. It's not as good. So therefore, when you start experiment all those new models and you need to understand the model's limitation by really gaining hands-on experience. The third AI point management skills is, is having experience in creating data strategies. Now, let me explain what's data strategies. When you create any kind of AI product, we need to develop a data pipeline, which is one of the most asked interview questions. If you go for AIPM interview, they will ask you, do you have the experience developing data pipeline? But the experience is not about how you exactly code to create AI product. It's more about the strategy around creating the data pipeline. However, we experience the key data strategy challenge when we develop the AI interviewer product. We're putting all the four years, hundreds of hours transcription of our mock interviews training into a large language model to fine tune those model. However, the AI model is not able to distinguish between my comment, my feedback versus other students comment and feedback. This means AI doesn't know whose statement has higher authorities compared with others. Therefore, creating a data strategy is a differentiator of our product. All those real-life AI strategies actually require those hands-on experience for you to give them the specific explanations during the AI parameter interviews, as well as when you propose new AI initiative ideas. So therefore, I highly recommend people start to gain those hands-on experience creating AI strategies starting from today. Now, speaking of passing AI parliamentary interview, the first step is actually creating the AI PM resume. And I have a free template teaching you step-by-step -step the right keywords to put in your AI parliamentary resume. You should go to this website and then download the link for free. I'm going to use it. I'm also going to put it in the description of the show note as well. The four skills for AI product management is, and it is experience dealing with hallucination and data drifting. In my last Play Insider podcast episode, talking with the CEO of Abstract Company and, he, and John Lee, he actually has been in the AI space and ML space for 12 years. He developed his own ML model before AI even become a hot topic. At he point, he actually point out the biggest loophole within the industry that nobody likes to highlight, which is hallucination. And actually people are talking about using AI, they didn't talk about how exactly you're able to reduce hallucination because hallucination actually happens a lot and it's actually really bad, especially for enterprise applications. So therefore there's a difference between experiment with AI versus in the production level of your AI product. And there are two common ways to deal with hallucination. One is building rack and by providing better quality data, the other one is set up guardrails. And however, those those are just okay solutions. As an AI product manager, we must know being able to have a proactive strategy to deal with hallucination and also demonstrate your skill set and experience of dealing with hallucination and data drifting. And those are based on the real life people starting using your AI product. Those stories is the more people use it, the more loopholes are able to discover for your AI product. The fifth AI product manager skills is actually AI strategy and go-to-market strategy. In the race of AI, almost all companies today, they have something to do with AI. All the tier one companies building those large language models and smaller companies trying to build application using large language model. However, in the fierce competition, 
what AI model or what AI application actually driving the most user is going to win at the end of the day. And do you also know that over between 70 to 80% of AI product actually fail? So therefore, it is a key skill set for AI product manager being able to design the AI product strategy and go-to-market strategy to create the reliable AI product that actually have real users and also have sustainable long-term user engagement. I have a separate blog post where I dive deeper regarding the end-to-end -end AI product management lifecycle skills and the framework that has been used by us to create third different kind of real life AI product within three months. You should check out our blog post right here and also have separate YouTube training going through those end-to-end -end product management lifecycle skills as well. And I'm going to link them in the description of the show notes so that you can have an in-depth uh, training on these significant topic. Now you know all the top five skills for AI product managers. The most important takeaway for you is that you must learn how to gain hands-on experience by implementing all those AI product management skills and demonstrate to your current manager who can promote you to become AI product leaders or show it to an interviewer and demonstrate you already have these existing hands-on experience because all those interviewers out there in the job descriptions as prior hands-on AI experience, not just theoretical study. We have AI product management bookend that match you with software developer to create real-life AI product, you can launch it between 4 to 11 weeks. You can go to the link in the description and check out to learn more. On top of that, make sure to download the free AI product management resume template so you will get ready for your upcoming AI product management job hunting journey. And this video right here gives you the breakdown of seven steps how to write your AI product management resumes and with all the keywords you need to include, make sure to check out this video right here. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMXCerator.io. Make sure to like and comment, subscribe to this channel. I'm going to see you in my next video right here.